Desma after all. Okay. All right, I'm quite worried about um, Spanked Monkey there, potentially dying. Welcome back to Genie. It's the resub. Yeah, this is very low health, and there's an honor guard in the bushes being a perk. 23 health. Okay, this is the top of the round. Do I rally now? Not in Miasma right now. Could walk away from one of them. Honor Guard definitely hits harder than the Legionaries. I move away from Kel'Jastad if I go further south, but he's immune to the fears, and he's confident right now, so the only way he loses morale is when people walk next to him or stand or do damage to him. I think I will move down. I was going to rotate this guy out, but now I kind of want to move him forward. And oh, he's going to die. He's just so low. A gleaming endowment. Thank you, Cubix. You get in early on the DD names. Yeah, sure. Kex and Cubix on the DD names, huh? All right. Coming close to that, right? Uh... Could just rotate him out. Thing is, I want his damage on this. But this is in death range of like pretty much anything. Got hit in the head. Try to protect the Bannerman. Although that's kind of the one I was thinking I might try to kill. I can attack both of them. Some miss over there. Sad days. Gotta kill these before they kill the Bannerman. What generous bestowal. Thank you, Joyful. Jayful, yo. Okay, again, I don't promise how much we're gonna play of Dark's Dungeon. I just want to have a look at stuff. Damn, he's stunned again. I don't know what to do with Spanked Monkey. He's low enough. He's not very useful over here. I need to find a position where I'm not being bombarded by anything, like maybe here, and attack into that. A stand in swamp with necro savants with low health. It seems like a really clever move. We'll do that. Our oh, first hit on Kill Just Dodd. Doesn't get to act because he's stunned. Alright, um. Nice. Can't move. Come on, Kate. Yes! Alright. The Necro I was worried about, the Untaunted one, is dead now, so it can't kill, uh. Spank Monkey. 26 remaining. This is possibly doable. 
Ah, we're gonna run out of health on Kel'Jastad from the Miasma. Reached fifty percent, I believe, on the shield. Do ranged weapons suck in this game? No, ranged weapons are quite good, but um, skeletons. This type of skeleton is pretty much immune to ranged weapons. What happened to the guy in the bushes? He just didn't attack this round. Alright, Bannerman's getting pounded right now. Very low health. Alright, we gotta wait for these to act. Got stunned over here, annoyingly. Shit cloud. This seems to be taunted so it doesn't hit our bannerman. I hate to take these rolls at, I almost called it disadvantage, but at the low, uh, stuff here but oh, sixty-three. Not quite enough. Draw some shots with dogs. Through the shield. There's where I want to be. All right, shields at thirty percent. Let's switch it out. Another shield wall. Timer's running dangerously low on Kelsey Stodd. Just rallied on his own. It's nice. It's weird that that one's in the swamp and this one's not, but I have better hit accuracy on this one. Don't know why the hell that is. Really low on her bannerman. Kate just rallied. Damn that second miss. Twenty five remaining. Rotate the dog to get hits off. Good value. We can miss our hits and we get the hits off. It's value too. It's a different type of value. It's not value for me, it's value for them. That was so lucky that was a head hit. 
Alright, that was really not lucky to get all those guys fucking breaking and stunned. Because we get no damage on this at all. even move over there because of the stamina requirements for wandering through this fucking marsh. This is with 20 stamina recovery a turn. Why did I take the shield off? This should have been just equipping the axe. It's really bad. Another headshot on Kate. Didn't rally either of them. We won't have another shot at it next round. They will be stunned next round. Oh, we just almost died. I just stood in the miasma. I could have moved to a non-miasma location too. That's fucking stupid. Um, we need to be really, really careful of the timing on this turn. Who are these people going? This is the end of the round. I've kind of lost track. Is this the end of the top of the round or the bottom of the round? Ancient Honor Guard acts in one turn. Over there. That one. That one. That one. Okay, so there's nothing crucial before I go again. See, all this is pointless because it, it looks like we're not going to be able to clear this in two rounds, which means I got to come out with here with like 12 days of food. And I don't I don't even know if that's possible. It's too, so far away from towns. It's not even potentially a thing. Not Miasma this round, which is nice. Can recover for some more shield walls. We might have a bad round in the meantime. <laughs> Alright, he's got to be ready with the escape key because we have to make sure that our these guys either die or our bannerman goes before that. Four turns. Is he taunted? He's taunted. Oh, we actually do have a little bit of leeway there. And wait until he goes. walk in and kill that. Got a lot of health left, so the miasma is not the end of the world. All right. More stuns, of course. Jeez, they just stunned five targets. Miasma again, that's lovely. Should maybe have taunted this. Actually, I should have taunted that. It's just Miasma killing us over here. We have plenty of armor. Sucks that these are so low, but I can't kill them because these guys are all panicked. You can't rally this turn. Oh, we gotta leave. We don't have a choice. We have to leave this round. 
they will die running away from this. And they're not stunned. I thought I had another round for that. And actually, the next two actions are the ones that decide that. It's this guy plus the Bannerman. Fuck. I would base it off the rally, but the rally isn't going to happen. You see how it's the, uh, see how it's 92 stamina there? It takes 25 to rally. You only recover 15 a turn. That means you won't have enough to rally. Too bad, the fight's in pretty good shape. Health of our guys is not from that Miasma Cloud. But we have the front line down over here entirely. We have half the back line dead over here. There's a little bit of back line here. Uh, Kel'Jastad has been holding, what, six guys by himself over here for the entire fight for 10 rounds, just standing there. These are honor guards. These priests are super vulnerable. They don't have any honor guards, which means as soon as we kill these, we just run at them and kill them. Although it's through fucking swamp waters, so we'll never reach them. All the necro servants are dead. This guy will die to uh, cat attack, or uh, yeah, to cat attack with the reach weapon before too much longer. So really, it's just it'd be so good to kill a priest or two. Yeah, we can't camp and continue our foods too low. I can't even really get orc fights on the way out because I'm not gonna be able to get. I don't have enough. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see. Fights have been interesting. Puts a whole new perspective on kind of what I need in the end game. I need a monolith that doesn't spawn in the swamp. That's my first request. <laughs> third go, I should win it, but I can't camp and recover wounds and try for a third time. I feel like you're right, but... And the, the Bannerman dies. If, if the enemies get another round of action, the Bannerman will die. So... Nah, it's gotta be right now. I mean, I can wait another turn, but it's, it's exactly the same thing. Except I take more damage over there. Yeah, we have to go now. Alright. I right, got 97 food. I'm not even sure we can get home in 90... I mean, look how far home is. Home is there. That scares the shit out of me. We're such not shaped to fight anything right now. Might be a spot to pick up food. Probably do it with archers. Yeah, that would be a really good spot to get some food. Alright. Everybody has the shit kicked out of them right now. Although two of our guys over here have recovered enough. Alright, kills just odd value out of that fight for sure. It's ridiculous that value. What do we have for wounds, melee defense, and initiative? Minus 66, minus 60 fatigue. Okay, we can run him. Minus five fatigue recovery, we can run him. Minus 15 melee skill is fine. Oh, it's not fine, but it's bearable. Strom taker. It's too low to be doing anything right now. Alright, what am I... Can live with that. Can live with this. Mostly. That's 
Clearly not something I could deal with. Minus 35% HP on a tank. It's a little painful, but I think we'll live with it. And this is pretty bad, too. Hopefully they won't even reach us, really. Oh, we got a couple more guys over here, don't we? Okay. Where did the 400 armor go? It's over here. Although Chris is still not recovered. I should give him some armor. Alright. Give this a quick uh, fight. Okay. All right, we're here for the Orc Berserker sweet meats. I just tried to indomitable on my tank and ended turn. Should have been a shield wall. Reach us, that's fine. Good. Yes, the food we need. Okay, good. Probably presents prevents us from uh, starving on the way out. There are more orcs down there. Okay. Alright, back on the road. It's kind of a good thing this town is about to die. So what happens when I leave for the green skin invasion? Everything dies. That town's alright ish. It's gonna be fun. 
So although it sounds like a leaf blower, it's not a leaf blower. It is a... It actually sounds exactly like a fucking leaf blower. There's no way they could be leaf blowing twice a week now, right? That'd be insane. I know there's leaves out there, but they're gonna keep coming. Yeah, I don't know if we have any temples left at all. We should look around for that. It's worth asking about. It's going to be expensive, but my entire group group is fatally wounded. Or pretty pretty close. I just want to go right back out to that and see how much of it respawns. I'm just going to give up towns for that. I don't know. Harbor. Armor. There's a temple there. All right, let's go this way. Nice, there's goat cheese on the way back. Alright, plan is get temple ticking, head over to Wolf and Walk for more dogs, and then head straight back. Oh, that's the tavern. Tavern will help with the wounds, too. Wait, what? Temple. God damn it. Temple. This ain't cheap. Alright, we have short-term food here. Almost no loot out of this either. All right, full of tools though. They've got fish, which is an eight day stuff, which is great. Nine day stuff. This is eleven day. Okay, we're just gonna bring as much food as we can. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Here's the sub. Welcome, Wolf first. Thanks for the sub. Alright, question is, do we take the dogs or not here? They were useful, but it adds about a day of travel. And I kind of just want to get back out there before the food starts going off. We got a lot of food now. This is in seven days. I think we just go. We go north, grab that, and then go. Dogs are helpful, but not that helpful. And there's literally nothing that can... Wasn't here. It was south. Shit. Half a day spent for that. The goat cheese is super long range food. It's like 11 day food. Alright. Back to the monolith if we can. Why don't you guys do me a favor and check if the DLC is now or in an hour? This town's gonna be gone by the time we get back here. Ho! Oh, Greenskin invasion just ended. Thank fucking god.
Do I have to kill these scrubs? I, I don't want to fight these. I, I just want to go straight to the, the, mon the whatever. Okay. So, like, I'm sure we get some great stuff off that, but literally my only interest at this point in this campaign. Like, I'm interested in another campaign, although I'll have to figure out when I'm going to do that and what I'm going to do it with. But, uh, my primary interest is get to the fucking the end of the uh, monolith if we can. It's so far away from civilization. I'm just glad that no more towns are going to burn down. I guess towns can burn down outside of invasions too? I don't know. So. Kill them? Yeah, I'm sure it'd be great. It's just, again, I just explained why I'm not killing them. I don't want to spend the time. It's my real time there because I have 